Today's time-lapse painting is a little bit different. You're going to notice right away I am not using white paper for this painting. I'm actually using a brown cardstock paper. And I was curious how watercolor concentrates would work on this type of paper. I've never tried this before. So go ahead and continue to watch to find out the result. Alright, so this is a list of the supplies that I used for this painting and some of the problems that I had was there was actually bleeding from the pen and also from the paint on the paper because the paper is not the correct paper that I should be using for watercolor and I've noticed some of you guys have had that issue. The way I fixed that is I just went very lightly on the paper, I barely was touching it and then if it did start to bleed, I would slowly go over that line until I got it as straight as I wanted. Now, bleeding sometimes can be a useful thing and a helpful thing. I actually wanted my paint to bleed a little bit, not entirely. When I started seeing it bleed on the paper, I was like, oh, I want to continue this on his scarf. And the reason was because scarves tend especially yarn woolly ones they tend to be fuzzy and they tend to have that woven fuzzy blending bleeding look to it so keep that in mind that sometimes bleeding can actually be used for your benefit however if you're trying to stop bleeding altogether the main thing that you need to do is buy the correct paper but if you can't do that and i understand if you can't work on very light touch with your pen and your paintbrush and also work on the amount of water and paint that you put in your brush. That will help with your bleeding. As always guys, it's been a pleasure and I hope you enjoyed this video.